but so uh, very vertical yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No? but very precise but uh, one tachipirina <laughs> one nimesulide i see here some yeah aspirin yeah. i see ibuprofen okay it's like like so so i think that this this list is a sanitary list of uh, and i used to <laughs> I also like the fact that he put the cards in an alphabetical order rather than <laughs> Agony Warp, Augraf Bolas, Bushuka Bog, <laughs> Brainstorm. <laughs> so put it on alphabetical, yeah. but write it on end. Yes. That, that, that's the new and the old together. I like it so sure. much. But, wow, really. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, I think that they are Mulligan. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, so sorry for the, for for you, but we are enjoying the the, the list. Yeah, they're um, taking uh, mulligans, and I think yeah, we wanted to shoot errors because it's the first time we see uh, the deck um, in this uh, tournament in this streaming. So it's I we know it's a fan favorite. It's one of the sweetest deck I think because it plays a lot of cantrips and uh, yeah. a lot of sequencing. Yeah. So okay. Brainstorm. Land pass. Land pass, and then brainstorm yeah of course uh, your opponent can stop it but... yeah it looks like uh, uh palma moving to five while uh, um drujinek uh, kept uh, seven so that's a uh, in this in this kind of matchups is yeah. uh, a lot okay and it looks Cycling. like he missed the second land drop uh, ouch yeah and then cycling of suffocating fumes. So again, uh, very good hand for uh, uh, Drujinek. Yeah, I think like if your opponent plays the island brainstorm, I'm not super sure what's going on. Yeah. But it's probably a matchup where uh, um, suffocating fumes isn't that good. So it's quite fine to cycle it. Yeah. And then. The, the, this art of brainstorm is uh, something that I like so much. Okay, Palma, oh, okay. the Drusinic Ching. Okay, okay. We see all. Oh, the, yes, uh... yes. Sorry, I I I, mean, I got uh, confused. Uh, so sorry about that. Yeah, Pal uh, Fran is uh, um, the blue black fade is yeah. uh, pilot is uh, uh, playing. Uh, uh, with a mulligan to five and is missing his land up while yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Palma is actually just casting this Monarch on turn four, uh, preying on uh, um, still not opponent. finding any land. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Druzinek is the Monarch. Again. Yes. So uh, other advanced... no, no, it's uh, it's Palma. Palma. So... Sorry, 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 guys. So a... Okay, I'm. I have. Yeah. We have switched the the yeah, list. Yeah. Okay, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, uh, the kept the keep uh, was uh, kinda forced because uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, Drusinek moved to five already. So uh, Mulliganing to four, uh, it's. Like, I think you, you gamble at this point. Yeah. But I'm curious if uh, uh, there is a way that uh, Drusine can still uh, uh, merge victorious. We see uh, the second mm -hmm. island. Yeah, but still need to resolve the, mon the monarch and wow. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think uh, I stress uh, everyone uh, with the brainstorm uh, and how you should play it. But uh, of course, like sometimes you have to play the desperation brainstorm, as I call it. Uh, so keep it uh, uh, played and try yeah. to find the land drops. And of course, you can brain lock yourself. Uh, but uh, that's it, of course. Another land and uh, Ferisir. Ferisir. Great yeah, game. I think this game uh, is likely to be uh, <laughs> a mess uh, to navigate for uh, Drusinek. Yeah. Here, I think it's taking just some time to see the list of the opponent yep. and uh, evaluate the, the touches and that's it because uh, card advantage, uh, land advantage, board advantage. So I'm very curious uh, if uh, um, it's a strategical play to see um, also to have more time because we know that Blue Black Terror yeah. has a very faster way to close out games while this Blue Black Fade is... Uh, um, it's yeah. more tough, but uh, yeah, I like to just 
wait and see what's going on to yeah to see more touches and uh, uh, stuff like that he drew from a fairy seer they say okay uh, okay um I, but okay okay we will interrupt the game mm -hmm. and this we might be <laughs> this is exactly exactly okay so we we will uh, interrupt the game uh, as you as you as you showed us we we didn't see it actually because we were uh, looking for your comments but now this can be a way <laughs> to win for uh, <laughs> for uh, Druzinek. I I think that he draw uh, for for the monarch, but also uh, for after Ferisir, he triggered like two times the monarch. So this is uh, yeah, he draw he draw from Ferisir and draw for monarch. Like in, in my opinion, he draw after Ferisir because. Um, he has the monarch and then forgot it and then draw again. But but now we can see we can see uh, easily how to uh, to count the cards and see if if we draw one more because that can be a uh, game loss for fairies. I, I really I really like and, and enjoyed all the effort that you that you put it in in the chat for uh, for this uh, this draw. <laughs> Thank you for the for the for highlighting uh, what what we don't see sometimes. But we will see we will see how it goes. Now the judge is there, so no problem. No is not the top eight. This is the last uh, uh, turn of the Swiss. We will see top eight after um, after this one. So, we, from what I can see, um, Palma is is saying like I I I didn't do it uh, on purpose, but we can see. Stefano, you don't see the errors because you play cool Dota, probably. Yeah, we will call the judge after this game in order to um, re reconstruct, let's say, this situation and explain what what's what was going on. And we will see it. We will see it. After all, we will see it. They are trying to um, to redesign the match and uh, and, and understand how, how many cards you should add. And also also to understand something from the ruling, no? It's uh, quite interesting for new players approaching in the uh, in the competitive uh, side of the game. To understand what are what are the consequences of these actions, and uh, if are differences if done on purpose, done or uh, by error. They are not in top eight. They have the chance to qualify in top eight. A small chance to qualify in top eight after this match. Okay. So basically, after a long judge call. The outcome was just uh, to continue playing because I think uh, uh, the draw was for the Monarch. Okay. And uh, even if it wasn't, uh, the board was so difficult to fix and both players agreed that uh, even if w with the, another draw step, uh, the blue black player was so ahead that uh, it, that it didn't really matter. So just to continue to play and uh, a better uh, um, envir environment, they just both agreed about this solution. Okay, so both players were uh, were uh, were okay about yes. the situation. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, like uh, they they were just playing a lot of spells, so um, it was 
completely unintentional for sure. Okay, from the chat, they said also that it's very interesting to understand this kind of situation in competitive uh, uh, tournaments from a judge. Mm -hmm. Probably if we can also yes. ask to him uh, in live, uh, what what is the way of uh, approaching in this situation mm -hmm. and what can be the consequences no yeah. of uh, of uh, something like this because now we see that for this situation doesn't matter at all or yeah. at least i think a warning i don't know uh, yeah yeah it will probably take a, a warning okay uh, and but in other situation for sure the card uh, in a greedy situation or no, mm -hmm. the, the the card drawn uh, can be probably something worst so uh, yes, I, I think the, the only, like the, the most important difference is, uh, is someone cheating or not? If someone is not cheating and you exclude that part, then everything becomes more, more easy. But the thing is, a lot of things happen, of course, uh, for who is watching, you're watching with a bit of delay. So mm -hmm. a lot of actions happened. Even in the meantime, I went from this casting uh, table to the, to the playing table. So it was uh, already in another situation and both play like a turn was already passed. So checking one card draw when he cast like to preordain uh, a fairy seer and draw the monarch, uh, etc. It was tough to an uh, envelope. And of course, uh, um, like we are not a very uh, like this is not the day two of a pro tour. This is not the words. Uh, so um, the attention to details, uh, if both players agree um, on what's going on, uh, is uh, less uh, aggressive, less and uh, less uh, strict. Yeah. Uh, today is five rounds plus three of the top eight. So we are streaming eight rounds, and uh, but uh, the players that are not uh, qualified for the top eight uh, just play five. Uh, the, send the sendings will be posted, and uh, someone asked me if a pro play, um, like my pro player approach to this, uh, but I'm not sure understand uh, what what probably, is the question. Probably, if you uh, w will agree in a situation like that to be okay, doesn't matter because we are in this situation. Uh, I mean, it, it, I guess it really depends uh, on uh, what my opponent is uh, doing, but. Uh, I usually, um, like if I'm playing for something, I usually call, uh, appeal to the judge and try to um, en envelop the situation and see what's happened. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's uh, my right to ask for this. Mm -hmm. And or, or then if the judge agrees that uh, the situation is uh, too compromised, uh, then it's fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, I, I, that's a thing I suggest even to the chat, uh, that if, if you disagree um, with, the, with the judge, with the floor judge, uh, you can always appeal to a dead judge. Of course, uh, uh, the most important thing is to be respectful because th those are people that are working and they are willing to help you, but don't be aggressive, don't be uh, yeah. arrogant. Just explain your point and what's going on. And especially if you uh, suspect that your opponent is cheating on doing, or, or doing something uh, uh, against uh, yourself. Yeah, 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 I agree. Uh, anyway, this is an event again that uh, as the main goal of the uh, community and uh, uh, again in a, in a situation like this I'm not a pro player but I'm sure uh, I will do like like him no mm -hmm. I, I I'm lo I, I've lost this game we are in a situation where one work one card doesn't count and okay he did it not on purpose because if you you can see also if uh, an opponent is doing this uh, uh, on purpose, no. Mm -hmm. The approach on the game is different by our opponent. If if the if the uh, the, the match is friendly and, and the air is really friendly, okay, it can can be. So there are a lot of questions in the chat about uh, judge calls and uh, about uh, uh, um, Oak Lord. Uh, what you say? I I don't know what happened, but uh, um, I think uh, like uh, I personally don't have any takes about. Uh, uh, rulings. I just uh, read the rules and try to act accordingly. And about someone just told us, uh, well, if you are willing, if you are winning, you can draw two. No, you can't. The cheating is the intention of cheating. So if you are intended uh, intended to draw two, yeah, that that's that's a, a disqualification with with a suspension. But it happens then when you play preordain, fairy seer, monarch, and you play a lot of cards, keep uh, losing tracks of cards. Uh, um, might happen. It happens to me too. Like you, you know. Sometimes I play a Mark Tide. So when I have uh, considered preordain uh, DRC, like yeah. drawing one less or one more card might happen. And then when you um, 
when you see the error, immediately call a judge and say, I draw one more card or one less card. Yeah. And they will fix the situation for you. So uh, try to act scummy is uh, terrible. Just, just play well. And if you have a problem of any nature, just call a judge. Okay, they start again uh, playing this game after after um, Palma was uh, winning mm -hmm. the, the first one. So uh, the judge is there. All the penalty are, are uh, managed yeah, yeah, by yeah, okay. the, the judge. Yeah. I think is, uh, is the right choice to always listen to the judge. Yeah, but in if, pro tours in... Uh, if you want to complain, just become a judge and try to change the yeah, tricks right. or uh, just uh, send a... Uh, a mail to Judge Academy. But yeah, we are here to comment this magic, and it looks like now both players achieved their second land drop in time. Yeah, now we are and, playing uh, magic. Yeah. I think so. Looks like uh, Drusinek uh, is um, immediately developing his plan of uh, um, milling. Yeah, and looks like that's uh, an aggressive starter uh, to counter uh, mm. the scour. Yeah, of course it's the right move, but. Uh, Imagine if uh, Snuff Out was coming. Yeah, that's so that probably now want, wants to ninja that fairy, mm -hmm. but uh, opponent has uh, has open land, so I don't know. It's uh, quite aggressive, right? Mm -hmm. I really, I really enjoy the, the the fairy version of this deck. I really like it, but I'm not good at all to mm -hmm. play it because it, it's too hard for a mono red aggro player, <laughs> but, yes. but I, re I really enjoy this uh, this list. So, Augur of Bolas. Yeah, that's a card I love, even if uh, each time I play it, I just look at the bottom three cards of my deck <laughs> without altering <laughs> anything. But yeah, it's it's a lovely card. Okay. An aggressive parry, one damage. Yeah. <laughs> counter. Anyway, that Augur uh, took one counter. Yeah, and also uh, now the fairy player is topped out, and so um, a lot of uh, serpents uh, will come, probably. Yeah. Okay, so now One. it's coming. Wow. Two. Wow. And uh, double. double... Uh, no, one terror, one terror and one, one uh, good mug. Yeah, and the good mug is actually decent in this matchup because you can snuff out it. So yeah. you really need to find exactly, um, you know, the cast down. I think that's the only um, answer in this uh, well-written list. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if is it four. Yeah, four snuff. Wow, that's interesting. Four snuff out for uh, Palma. That actually are four mm -hmm. dead cards on that Gourmet. So uh, we see... But you're right, eh? he's on, mm -hmm. uh, on alphabetical order. Yeah. Everyone. Okay. Every, every kind of. Yeah, I think just uh, some cast downs. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some so cast downs. Be... Two, ca... <laughs> Two cast okay. downs. Okay. That's the only answer to Gourmug. Of course, you can block it with something or uh, even mm. Tornas Black Rose. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now uh, Palma has to manage two big creatures yeah. and it's really really uh, a challenge for a deck like fairies for sure having the access to black when uh, you have some more answers like uh, you said but here uh, Drozhinek uh, went Ooh, really and the, well. the cast down okay yeah okay this spell on the cast down in the in the yeah. upkeep Interesting that he played that in the upkeep. Uh, I'm not sure if you want if he was sure that uh, that wouldn't resolve or uh, just play that randomly. But now, now it comes to the part where uh, um, like you start to cast random uh, mental notes on yourself, uh, and uh, this is the part where I don't like the deck because I think it's quite too randomic. Yeah, I, I prefer to play fairies just because you have more uh, scries. Uh, and more set up on your spells. You're less explosive, of course, you're playing sort of a control deck. Yeah, but it's but also, uh, you you have more control of your yeah, draws. you're more precise. Yeah, yeah. Another cast down. Yeah, the second one. Yes, the second of the two. Yeah, cast second down. and last one. But again, okay, okay. This time the cast down 
did this job. So the Gurmag left the game and then and then just go. Okay, but we still have a, a Tolarian Terror mm -hmm. to manage, no? These are five damage every every turn. For sure we have, for that one, access is like uh, at four, it's enough out. So someone asked how many creatures uh, the Blue Black Terror uh, plays. So four Gormgangler, uh, four Tolarian Terror, two Falaji Archaeologists, and that's it. So no Cryptic Serpent, I think. And in the sideboard, uh, okay, nothing changed. So just ten. But uh, if you are talking about uh, uh, five fives, it's just uh, two creatures. Wow! So um, the this uh, that's a devil flash that was countered by uh, Rotten Reunion. That, that's a very smart play. Yeah. Okay, now cycle. Yeah, and that that one life uh, more really makes the difference because uh, uh, you know um, the Tolarian Terror deck plays a lot of five five, so uh, the ways that race is five 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 five. So being at eleven is basically a time walk. I completely agree with this. Yeah, <laughs> he has a he gained one turn. Yeah. with this uh, with this. Uh, just two cards in hand for Palma, I think. Snuff and out. one is enough out, play, paying for, for the life. ward, ward cost, and for life. So going to 11, I think. And okay. This Tolarian Terror. Ah, no, no. Okay, sorry. At the seven. And that's a thick uh, scour on yourself. <laughs> Interesting. And and it it went really yeah, yeah. really good. Eh? It, it worked. It yeah. worked. And that's another Gurma Gangler that we know um Matteo has no business killing it, like has no actual way because just play two cast down. He's, he can maybe play an an edict. And that's the yeah, the monarch uh, guy. Turn of Black Rose. Two cards, I think one land. Brainstorm. I think he really needs to find a removal, like in form of cast down or something. We know, okay, that's an agony warp. Yeah. So that should be good enough to uh, take the crown. <laughs> <laughs> and in a, in a matchup like this, uh, the monarch will change a lot of the balance of the, of the match. Yeah. Really a lot, because you will not take it back really easily. Yeah. Yeah, I really like, to be honest, this uh, um, blue-black uh, uh, terror list because I think for Gurma Gangler mm. is the right way to go at the moment. I'm not sure about the archaeologist, but uh, I'm pretty sure uh, that's a very strong card. I mean, the for Gurma Gangler, because, uh, you know, Dimir, Dimir sorry, uh, Black Green Gardens uh, is taking a lot of place in the, de in, uh, the format and, uh, of course, the deck plays a lot of uh, um, snuff outs. So he's out from snuff outs. He's out from a red red deck in any kind yeah. of uh, pyroblast and um, red elemental blast. So it's a yeah. really good creature now. So playing three or four is probably the right number. Yeah. And I was trying to look for uh, deep analysis. So for, um, Drushinek only played two deep analysis. The card we see sometimes even for copies. But uh, maybe playing two is, uh, of course, I made a call uh, to have uh, less... Uh, uh, dead cards uh, versus uh, aggressive. Yeah. Hello, Eisen. Welcome in the chat. Hello, hello. He said uh, he didn't. He didn't draw with Monarcha probably. Okay, that's, uh, okay. you, you can miss the trigger. That's, <laughs> that's a, not a problem. That's not an infraction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you draw two with Monarch, that, <laughs> that, that, that's a problem. It's something uh, he's recovering from before. Yeah, no, I think <laughs> it's something. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I, I don't draw this time. Yeah, usually when I play Magic, I have the uh, Monarch token by Mezzocell, that is the of official um, designer of uh, even those playmats. So uh, this is a big crown, I put it on the battlefield, yeah. <laughs> and when someone takes it, I give it the token, so it's more easy to 
um, yeah. keep tracks. But also for you, if uh, you're fully man um, imagining the, the, the lines to take, no, you will forget this is, uh, I, 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 if you see it, it's really, really a uh, huge help. Wow, and these cycles uh, away uh, DeLorean rather than uh, yeah. drawing free, that's... That's uh, interesting. That's an interesting plan, yes. Probably, what, he has two cards in hand, so wow. Non puoi non pescare di monarca. Ah, ok. okay. But uh, I, I don't really get uh, why he played uh, the Gurmag because we know the opponent has a trainer edict uh, in the graveyard and can immediately just yeah. uh, flashback it, I think, for yeah. free. This is a strange thing. And Cycling now... the. I oh, can I set base action? The joke. Well, Bujuka, no, Bujuka is uh, all day out, I think. Yeah. But I think also it's foil, eh? Maybe it's also foil, because yes. Because he has the... It's glaring, the, yes. The, ah, the symbol. The yeah. symbol of the foil. Okay, okay, good, good, good to know, good to know. Okay, now Ninja. Yeah, I think now uh, the um, Palma is really, really ahead in this game. I think probably this matchup is even uh, good for him. I, I, I'm not sure. I I think that uh, that you will manage well the the match with uh, yeah. with this list then rather than the the terror one. Yeah, because you have a lot of small creatures to jump yeah. block the, the exactly. big monsters, and you also have a lot of removals. So. Exactly. Okay. And uh, uh, I think I asked okay. the, also to Simone yesterday, what is your favorite part uh, of Brainstorm? I think that this one is really, really wonderful. But also, th there is one, I think, the, uh, they did the, the secret layer with yeah. Brainstorm, no? I think it's that one, okay. Uh, that one, my my favorite. Yours? Okay. I don't really like this one. But it depends yeah. what I'm playing, I think. If I play Pauper, I like all the layout cards. Uh, yeah, exactly. If you have like all modern layouts yeah. and then just brainstorm with this one, I will go mad mm. because I see something that is missing. One, my friend, that is that Alessandro, yeah. plays all different uh, <clears throat> version of all <laughs> play sets. Oh, so that, that's cool. It's a good way. Okay, so brainstorm on the stack, if I understand well, right? Okay, and this resolving. Perfect. I think that they call the judge for a ruling base. Mm -hmm. uh, Agro of Bolas for sure. I'm after keeping the track. I think the monarchs now is. Uh, um, and okay. And I, okay, no. Okay. Uh, draws for the okay, monarchs. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He lost like two draws, I think. Mm, something like that. I, yeah. I don't know. The thing is, I'm paying uh, not much attention and. Uh, at the I, monarch at this yeah, point. Yeah, I think they should play a bit slower to keep tracks of everything. Yeah. Also because this can be, for a small possibility, yeah. a win and in for uh, one of the two players because uh, one of the two can can enter in the top eight by rating. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe I, I I should play a bit slower this this well, game. Yeah, we know that uh... the eight one uh, the X one one is the yeah Palm is the client pit actually. So yes, maybe if you ah. I don't know, but even the top 16 get uh, good prizes. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly, exactly. Uh, I think uh, it's it's an important match anyway yeah. to enter in the at least top 16 to take more prize. And so take your time. You have uh, 20 minutes. You're playing blue and we are already on game two. I think Yeah, uh, I get the excitement of uh, uh, being uh, uh, like playing an important match on camera. So you yeah. get anxious and you play fast and you play sloppy, but uh, um, it's important also to breath and yeah. to have yeah, yeah. a constant pace. Sure. 
Yeah, uh, I I think that the that cycling of Florian was really strange. I don't know what was his plan. I think, uh, in my opinion, he just missed that the, the edict was in the graveyard. So he want he really wanted to. Ah, uh, okay, okay. To you play. Think I I need the, I I need a land. I do I play Gorma against. Yes. Okay. Totally missing the. Um, yeah, the, the edict. Yes, something yeah. like that. So he he wanted to prey on his opponent. Uh, um, just having a, okay. an ogre of bolas and putting pressure, and it, uh, sometimes it happens that when you are stressed, uh, um, you just tunnel vision a line uh, and take that, uh, and even if, and then you realize that line was probably suboptimal or, or even bad. Okay, it's a deep analysis from the top, and I think everything is. Uh, oh, that's a counter spell artwork by uh, Shivan. That's the previous uh, Pauper Geddon uh, uh, prize. So wow, amazing that art. Yeah, it's uh, a counter spell uh, a warped in the ring uh, from Lord of the Rings. Wow. And uh, we will uh, see Shivan, I think, soon uh, on this channel before the, the top, eight, top eight starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will have it. We have hair. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Pino, yeah, it's just a tunnel vision play. Now the the other Gurmag from uh, um, Palma comes uh, at, and uh, at this point you have all the board, <laughs> yeah, a preordain. <laughs> Very curious. Uh, uh, what is the um, Drushinek plan to win this? And even a relic of progenitors to, you know. Any, anyway, Palma is at on, on two, eh? but mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> it, it doesn't doesn't draw. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't play like. Uh, I don't think that there, there are any way um, any yeah any direct damage. No. It would be lovely, like just the psychonic blast for them to be <laughs> something like that. Just to have uh, just to have an a uh, plot twist uh, on yeah. the game, on on a game of both two players. All the bars are losing the women to familiars. I'm sorry. Well, then. All. All. Okay. This is this is a bad announce for me. Yeah. One, all. One, all. Okay. Someone asked uh, if you know how many familiars in the top uh, thirty-two, or just uh, even. Uh... Uh, there are two at least in the top. Okay, and there are at least two familiars the um, in the top eight. So locked, of course. All right. And Palma goes to win. This yeah. uh this match and here is uh, the top sixteen and maybe uh top eight we will see uh soon.